Master Leopold's order. She has waited many years at Tin's Landing. Oh, that's right. I gotta go talk to her. All right. Let's go talk to her and get that out of the way. I think I was supposed to do that a long time ago, actually. My bad. Oh, whoa. Gufu the sweet. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. Who are you? I am Gufu, Great One. Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Perhaps they are making fun of me. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tien's Landing all my life, but now, I'm ashamed to say, I wish I lived somewhere else. Why do you wish that? Everything in Tien's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. Um, okay, goodbye. Take care of yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tian's Landing. Nah, it'll turn around, don't worry, I'll fix I'll fix everything for you guys. Scroll stand, have I read this? Shadow in the trees. Oh, I haven't read this. Okay, the shadows in the trees, travelers in the great southern forest, often report strange sightings and bizarre phenomena. Aside from the hospitality of the pilgrims rest in, the forest is nearly entirely wilderness, and the verdant Kamini canopy of the forest hides wonderful and fearsome creatures unlike any seen anywhere else in the empire. The strangest tales are those of shadows among the trees that seem to follow visitors to the forest. Philosophers hoping to reflect in the peace of the forest often report feeling watched and patrons of the pilgrims rest in claim to have seen strange silhouette darting among the trees. Despite the apparently otherworldly nature of this figure, those who witness it sets no aggression attribute it to the mysteries of the forest. The house must be popular. It seems like quite a prominent structure. Yeah, let's go in. Oh crap, there's a lot of people in here. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You've got unfinished business with us first. Okay. Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. Oh my gosh, you gotta be kidding me. I will I will destroy you. Yeah, I'm gonna destroy you guys. I'm sorry, look at look at my stats. My stats own all you. Gotcha. I'll improvise. Oh, I can get tables done. Yeah, you're so done. Let me heal a little bit. Gotcha. That was easy. You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again.
The Lotus assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk amulet, too. I should go to the ruins and try to find this amulet piece. Yes, Sun Li intended you to find it. I was to tell you about it if anything happened to him. It was the last order he gave me, and I have waited years to fulfill my duty. Cool. Um... I have a lot ahead of me. I should go. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead. Alright. Good stuff. Um... Old Mother Kwan, I'll talk to you later. Hello! Greetings! Welcome! My name is Steeper Yan Ru, and I'll be... No, that's not right. Not right at all. Idiot! I'm Barkeep Yan Ru now, not Steeper Yan Ru. I'm sorry about that. I still can't get the hang of this new position. Sometimes I wish Old Mother Kwan still owned the tea house so things could go back to the way they were. Did the tea house change owners recently? Old Mother Kwan used to run the place until Dutong bought it. Well, buy isn't quite right. It's complicated. Talk to Mother Kwan if you want the whole story. Okay. I used to steep the tea here. They called me Steeper Yan Ru. But now Dutong says I'm going to be the new barkeep. And I'll have to give out advice and wine in equal doses. Tell more about Dutong. I can't say too much about him. He's my boss, after all. Mostly, he just sits in the corner and drinks his wine until he gets drunk. It's a shame Mother Kwan had to give the place up. She didn't waste her days getting drunk, and she didn't make me practice giving out advice all day so I could become a barkeep. Give it up. What do you mean? It's complicated. If you want the whole story... Okay. Goodbye. Farewell. I guess I'll, na I'll have to talk to her. Hello, young one. My name is Kwan, but everyone calls me Old Mother Kwan. I'd like you to call me that too, okay? Welcome to my tea house. Oh, that's not right. No, not anymore. Sorry about the confusion, dearie. What I meant to say was, welcome to Master Dutong's tea house. You used to own this tea house? Yes, yes, I owned the tea house for many, many years. At least I thought I did. But then Master Dutong came to town with that imperial writ. Oh my, wasn't that a shock. Turns out his family owns this land. They have for hundreds of years. The land is his along with everything on it, so now he owns my tea house too. Hmm. He was nice enough to let me stay on here as a helper. I steep the tea. Yan Wan takes the orders, and Master Dutong, uh, well, he mostly just drinks his wine. You didn't, own, you didn't know he owned the land when you built the place? Oh, wait, no, did you check the writ to make sure it was real? Now, why would I do such a thing? I can't even imagine anyone being so horrible they'd forge an imperial writ. No, I'm sure the land belongs to Master Duchong. Uh, I don't think so. Okay. I'm going to speak to Duchong about this. That is very nice of you, my child, but what could you do? I would love to have my tea house back, but it belongs to Master Duchong now. You can't argue with an imperial writ. All this talk is just the rambling of an old woman. Put it out of your head and enjoy yourself. It may not be mine anymore, but this is still a fine tea house. Okay, journal entry, of course. Where the heck are you, Dutong? Three sheets, Dutong. He's there. What's this? Jar. Oh, it owned. Broke it. Um, let's check up here before I talk to him. Uh oh. Rue, I know you keep saying you'll close the Great Dam as soon as you get your courage up, but it's been three days. Master Dutong isn't as generous as old Mother Quan used to be. You can't stay here anymore. No, I'm sorry, Yan Wan. Let me let me buy you a drink. Two bowls of wine and we'll drink a toast to a better time. Just add it to my tab. Ah! 
I'm good for it. <laughs> Rue, I don't have time for this. I have other customers to take care of. You have to leave now. No, I'm really pretty sure I have to drink now. I, I need to get my courage up so I can go close the dam. Yeah, just another drink or two. Or three. Or maybe four. Oh, more wine? <laughs> Drunk. I'll handle this. You will? Thank the Emperor. I've lots of other work to do. Uh, and who are you? More importantly, do you have any wine handy? Or, uh, can you get some? 